Let me give you a quick example about the, the maritime law, the law of water, the law of the sea. Money is water by law. Uh, this is why all ships are female. By law, all ships, rocket ships, sailing ship, air ship, it doesn't matter. If it's a ship, it's female. Because the captain always refers to his ship as she. Right. She's a good ship, or she's done this. Why she? Because she delivers the product. Vessel. Without she, there is no product, right? It's a vessel. It's a whole of course, container. of course it like, is a vessel. Like so is your body. It's a vessel that produces a product. Right. So when the ship pulls into harbor, it stops and where it parks is called its berth. It's birthing a ship or she sits in her berth. And every item on that ship, coming off that ship is a money. It's money changing hands. Right. It came in on water. So every piece has to have what is called a certificate of manifest because she is sitting in her birth. That's why when you were born, your mother's water broke. You were inside a container of water. Her water broke and you came out and therefore you have to have a birth certificate. And it's got to be signed by the dock because that's where the ship is sitting. The dock is where the ship sits. Once you begin to see how the words and terms are all based on maritime Admiralty, the law of water, the cash flow, the liquid asset. It goes all the way back to the English or British domination of the seas.